Romana says, is it prohibited to recite the Quran while we are wearing our shoes? People look at us strangely if we read the Quran with shoes on. Romana, if you care about what the people say, this will never end. Because the vast majority of people are ignorant. They have no knowledge about Islam. So what they like and dislike is not related to Islam. It's related to their culture, related to their misconceptions, but it has nothing to do with Islam. What is wrong in wearing shoes while reciting the Quran? So though Allah Azza wa Jal addressed Musa and Allah told him, take off your sandals. You are in uh, uh, the holy sacred valley of Tuwa, for example, in the Quran. Well, this is not an indication, not an evidence at all, because this is an instruction to Prophet Musa in a specific place, in a specific scenario. We as Muslims don't care about what these ignorant people say because we have an authentic hadith which states that the Prophet ﷺ led the congregation in the masjid of the Prophet in Medina while wearing his shoes and all the companions behind him were wearing their shoes. And in the middle of the prayer, he took them off. So all the companions took them off. And after the prayer, he explained to them that Jibreel came to him in the middle of the Salat and told him that there uh, 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 is an impurity on his sandals. So he took them off. This is authentic, which is more sacred and important. Reciting the Quran or standing in front of Allah in prayer. Not only that. The Prophet ﷺ said in an authentic hadith, pray while wearing your sandals or shoes, for the Jews do not pray wearing their shoes or sandals. So this is part of the sunnah, to pray barefooted and also to pray wearing shoes. So to come and claim that reciting the Quran while wearing your shoes is not good and people look weird and strangely at you when you do this this is not part of islam at all and you should not pay any attention to these ignorant people because they don't know anyone who comes to you tell them bring me the evidence please show me from the quran and the sunnah that specifically reciting the quran while wearing your shoes is not per permissible and it has to be an authentic hadith. Not only that, they come to you and you know, you should know that. And they say that you have to cover your head. You have to cover your hair as a woman when the adhan is called, when you eat, when you enter the toilet to perform wudu, when you recite the Quran. What is this? All of this is baseless and has no relation to Islam. It's only part of the culture of those who are ignorant, who do not know Arabic, who do not memorize the Quran, who do not know anything from the Sunnah. But they found their forefathers saying this, so they follow it blindly without attributing it to the Quran or to the Sunnah. May Allah uh, um, guide them to uh, proper Islam. And in addition to that, if those people think that reciting the Quran is disrespectful while having your shoes on, then what will they say to the hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim when the Prophet himself alayhi salatu wasalam, used to put his head in Mother Aisha's lap while she was in, on her menses and he used to recite the Quran? What would you say to that? So the, the, these guys said, wow, this, this might be a fabricated hadith. It is agreed upon. It's the highest level of authenticity, Bukhari and Muslim. So the Prophet used to put his head in Mother Aisha's lap while she was in the state of menses. 
And this did not prevent him from reciting the Quran, revising it, and she's listening to it without any problem.